Hi, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodělky. Our project for today is to knit a basic sock. Actually, this is the first part of three parts and we will be knitting a ribbing in the part that is leading up to the uh, heel part. I will be using a luxury sock yarn by Brown Cheap Company. Uh, this uh, sock yarn is called Wild Foot and uh, it is 75% washable wool and 25% nylon. And we will be working on needles number one and needles number two. I have cast it on 52 stitches. Okay. Uh, I will be actually working with ribbing which is going to be two knit and two purl. And if you do that, you always have to have uh, as many stitches that can be, the stitches that could be actually divided by four, okay? So two knit and two purl. One and two. And again, two knit. And two purl. Two purl. It's very tiny, right? Let me show it to you actually also with English style. Okay. So we will knit two. Okay, one. And two, and then yarn forward and purl, purl one, and purl two. And then don't forget to put your yarn back, otherwise, otherwise you will be adding stitches and knit and knit and now we need to purl so we need to bring yarn forward okay so this is what you will do all the way to the end okay okay so i am finished with my row uh, i knitted uh, i did knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, all the way to the end. Okay, and now I'm ready to transfer uh, my stitches into three double pointed needles and these are actually shorter. Uh, I like to work with shorter needles. Okay, and um, I do actually have a video where you can go and uh, uh, see much better how to do it okay and also I want to mention that again I started on the needle that is number two which is 2.75 millimeters and I am transferring it onto needle point number one which is 2.25 millimeters Okay, so I will transfer one third of the stitches onto uh, needle number one. Okay, which is about 18 stitches, 18, 16 stitches, something like that. Next one will be again about 18, 16, 18 stitches. I like to do it. So I um, always end up on my needle with uh, two purl stitches. I start with uh, knit stitches, but end up with purl stitches, okay? That it, okay, so this is one, two purl stitches, and then knit, knit. And here at the end of my uh, is purl, purl, and then I start with knit, knit. No, this one is not, this one is purl purl knit knit, okay, and 
one more one more okay so I'm finished with transferring my um, stitches and when you start working in the round you need to have if you're right righty you need to have yarn on the right side and if you're lefty you need to have it on the left hand side okay and uh, so this is how it is now you also make sure you don't twist it over here it's nice and flat so you can put it together and I always have this little trick where I add this stitch and I actually twist it a couple times once or twice okay and the yarn is in the back coming out of my I'm ready so it's coming out of my right needle make sure when you're knitting in the round that you always when you start knitting it's always on your right needle come the yarn is coming out of that right needle okay and if you're lefty it is coming out of your left needle okay and I uh, since I put uh, the stitch from the from the bottom of the last stitch over here I will be knitting these two together because that will be an extra stitch okay so we need to knit this one together so we don't have an extra and now we will knit two stitches and purl two stitches okay and just in the round knit two stitches and purl two stitches so knit and knit and purl and purl you see now it's starting to be much easier always the beginning with the thin yarn is a little bit um, more difficult because it's really tiny stitches but but once you get established it's going to be very easy uh, to work only you know lots of stitches but that's okay you can do it slowly and pay attention and so now I will be working many many rows um, in the round I am finished with my third row and I would like to go and show it to you also in the um, English style again okay okay so this is knit and knit and now we need to do purl purl stitch which purl you remember we do with the yarn in front right Now we need to put yarn back because we're doing a knit stitch. And one more knit. And yarn forward because we're doing purl stitch. So this is how you do it, the English style, okay? Now you need to have a lots of patience, yarn back. You need to have a lots of patience because these stitches are tiny but I think it can be done and it's going to be very rewarding and I put my yarn in front because I'm doing pearl stitches now okay so just uh, continue like this for many 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 rows as many rows as you want so continue like this until you have a nice long ribbing for your socks as long as you want them all right and uh, I will see you when I am finished with my ribbing and you see I already switched to my continental style because I am so much more comfortable with that but you can do whichever way you want to do your ribbing okay so I'll see you uh, when I uh, have my ribbing done and then we will continue knitting um, our next part. 
I have finished my ribbing. I decided to have ribbing three inches long. Okay, uh, and my ribbing is uh, like I said before, two knit and two purl, two knit, two purl, and so on. And um, I actually knitted thirty rows. Okay, and you can knit as many rows as you want. Now, what we will do is we will go and switch into uh, bigger needles. This is number two. This is number one needle, this one, and this one is number two needle. And I wanted to have it being tighter, so I used smaller needles. And now I want this part to be a little bigger, so I'm switching to my number two needles, which is 2.75 millimeters. Okay? And we will just do a stockinette stitch, which means that we will knit all the stitches. No more ribbing, we will just knit every single stitch in, in the row. And um, I will knit 15 rows. I decided to knit 15 rows. Okay? So this is what I will do. I'm switching to my thicker needle. And then when I am finished with this, um, with this row, I mean this needle, I will switch to another needle on my third needle as well. Okay. And here I am. Okay. Now we will put this one down, and we will switch our needle to bigger needle. And after I'm done with this needle, I still have to uh, knit uh, 14 more rows. So just knit 15 rows total. Okay. And um, when I am finished, we will um, knit um, a heel part. We will start knitting a heel part. I am finished with the cuff and the part that is right before the heel. All right, and uh, now we will go and move on to another video. Uh, where I will teach you how to do the heel part. Basically, this is the end of this video and watch for other two videos. Part number two, the heel, and part number three, the toe area. Okay, and uh, that's it. So thank you very much for watching my video and I will see you later.